Hey, this is all from Evile, and you're watching Quiet Cable. I mean, Loudwire. The first song that made me want to pick up a guitar and learn it was when I heard Dyer's Eve by Metallica. The fast riff after the intro, it just, it blew me away and I wanted to understand how you can make that sound on a guitar. And at the time, I could not play it. But that's the riff that made me sit up and think, ooh, I want to play that. At the time, I uh, all I could do was... <laughs> this is the riff that made me pick up, or want to pick up the guitar. first riff I ever learned, I remember I was at a shop, a store that my dad's friend owned. He was called Maurizio Mielli. He was a really good guitarist. He had drums and guitars and he also had books. And I remember seeing the tab book for Master of Puppets and Ride the Lightning. So the opening riff, the descending notes was the first thing I learned. But the second one, the second riff, was the one that I really spent time on. I remember coming across Fade to Black, but the opening clean riff on the guitar, it confused me. This is what I struggled with. So it started out with two, four, zero on the A, D and G strings, which is this. And I fell in love with that sound and it made me want to learn it. So as soon as I played that, I fell in love with it. But then, oh no. There's another note there. I look in the book, it says five on the A string. So, me being a new guitarist, I did this. And for quite a while, I did not know how to go from four to five here. I know it seems stupid now thinking back, but I decided instead of using my pinky finger here, I'd use my ring finger. And I remember this feeling, to this day, I remember the feeling of figuring out that, holy shit, my little finger is free to do that. And I remember just being so excited to figure out the most simple solution to something. <laughs> One of my favorite riffs was in Imperiled Eyes by Annihilator. It's the main riff. I think it's the verse riff. Yeah, it's the verse riff. It was just so heavy and cool, but it also had a really cool lead break in it before it kicks into the, the main verse. And it took me years to figure this out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another song I really liked playing was Arise by Sepultura. I became a big fan of uh, death metal and Cannibal Corpse were one of the first bands I started learning things on and it's the reason I tuned to E-flat. The album Tomb of the Mutilated is the reason why I tuned to E-flat and the riff to I Come Blood, the, the verse riff, was such a cool riff that I always play it, I always play it in sound check. When it cuts into the the triplet feel chuggy riff i i just love it <laughs> My favorite eval riffs are hard to pick. They're like my babies, my musical babies. The first one that comes to mind is from Origin of Oblivion from the Five Serpents Teeth album. The second eval riff that I would choose as one of my favorites would be from the title track of Five Serpents Teeth. Five Serpents Teeth. <laughs> third eval riff I would pick as my favorite is one that I remember I wrote in my mum and dad's garage. I had my amp and my cab set up in the garage facing out to the neighbor's house. They didn't like that, <laughs> but it was Eval's second album and I wanted to make some kind of statement in that Eval can play something technical. So from Infected Nation, the title track came this riff. <laughs> The first riff I ever wrote for Evile, I remember we were in our rehearsal room at the time. We were transitioning from being a cover band into playing our own material. It was from what is now We Who Are About To Die off Enter The Grave. I remember the riff was very simple to start with and then it got changed for a bit more of a groove. Originally the riff went something like this. But over the course of the next few months, we just felt that riff, it didn't pack enough punch as it should. And for some reason, that riff changed into what you hear now on the album, which is this. <laughs> Hmm. 
My favorite riff from Hell Unleashed, our new album, out April 30th, would have to be from The Thing, 1982. The year clarification there is just so everyone knows that we don't mean the 2011 version. The reason for this riff came because we thought it's just fast. It's it's too, it's just too fast. It's all this chaos, then fast, and then more fast, and blah blah blah, fast, fast speed. So we thought, look, we need we need a riff in here to really drop things to bring things up. I thought, what would Sodom do? And they're, they're slower riffs. And this riff just came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. 